Welcome to a mini guide for the base camp compound in the Psycho Frontier on the map Bright Sands. The reason I'm making this video is because base camp has a lot of hidden secrets that most players overlook. And if you know where to look, you can get some really, really nice loot. I might make more of these little guides and for other compounds, but as for now, base camp is the only compound on Bright Sands that has uh, a lot of like secrets and tips about it that I wanted to show. I'm thinking of doing uh, another video for Greens Prospect and the Starport area on Crescent Falls, but uh, I'm not 100% sure yet, but I might do it. But uh, anyways, guys, let's get into the video. This video has a lot of good information, and I really hope it helps you. Guys, if you do enjoy the video, please give it a like and give it a comment. If it helped you out in any way, just uh, please help me and uh, give it a like and support the channel. It really helps a bunch. But uh, yeah, let's get into this. So starting out, this image isn't great, but uh, I can't really do the justice that it needs. Basically, base camp has eight entrances, and they're all kind of spread out uh, in this sort of pattern. Uh, some of them are kind of like stacked on top of each other, but yeah, other than, uh, anyways, yeah, you gotta just kind of run in and learn them for yourself. If you are confused, I'd recommend just going into training, the training mode, and uh, running there and figuring where they're all out and where they all connect up. It has eight entrances, and they're all really good for flanking and uh, outplaying teams that are like camping or holding a hallway or or sitting in one spot inside base camp there's so many entrances and they're all really really sick but uh yeah i highly recommend you you learn all of these okay so for simplicity's sake we are going to start on the gate a side on the west entrance here the main entrance uh as most people would probably call it it's the biggest entrance it has uh you know a few a few different splits and things like that and it's got these under underground like basement areas where you can rotate through but uh yeah we're gonna start at gate a the west entrance here just for simplicity's sake and we're gonna go around the base camp in a counterclockwise kind of uh motion right so here at gate a there is nothing really spawning anywhere um down here by the stairs when you get inside inside a base camp though is when it gets starts to get really good i will need to kill this guy really quick so i'll do that okay so shortly after killing that marauder a storm actually came through and ruined the recording and i waited for it to go away and it cleared out and now we can continue here so let's do it i'm basically just going to re-record everything i just said anyways so coming into gate a Base camp, I'm gonna go in a clock, uh, counterclockwise uh, pattern. We're gonna go around like this, and then go all the way around, and then we'll talk about the upstairs last. So, straight away, right in here to the right, this box spawns rare medical supplies and meds. So you can come here and get meds if you're, you know, in really desperate need, you might get some. But uh, the main, main purpose of this place is optiglass, polymetallic, and gyroscopes. Gyroscopes are very sought after. Um, you know late into your task line and as far as i understand certain items can only spawn in certain danger areas so base camp being a very high danger area you can get gyroscopes here just like you can at the crash ship and at jungle camp but uh yeah so i've gotten them here multiple times um really good spot and just you know no one ever checks because it's like in a weird corner and everyone just kind of runs past and goes straight up to the, the loot room up top right so always check this really good coming over here in this container and this crate we can get hardened metals savage materials and uh you know a few other things like that like aluminum scrap as well which is really good for blue body armors same as same thing here we can get hardened metals savage uh salvage material sorry and aluminum scrap which is for blue body armor and then if we keep moving along this set of crates spawns electronics so we can get circuit boards radio equipment interactive screens blue cpus which are needed for uh body armor same with the interactive screens if you're using tactical armor i believe and uh power cables here too like all the electronics spawn here and it's a good spot to come especially if you get a task for circuit boards and radio equipment you could come here loot all the circuit boards and radio then go up top and hit the luggage room and get a bunch out of there we will talk about the luggage room in just a minute though and then continuing over we still have some nice uh spawns for like hardened metals and things like that if you're looking to craft some green body armor then if we keep moving uh i'll talk about this this area in just a moment if we keep moving there's a couple uh luggage uh cases here and some briefcases you can get like attachments and some money and uh old like old currency and, and a couple other things out of here like uh radio equipment keys jewelry etc if we go up over here 
This is actually a really good spot that usually isn't looted. This is uh, exit out towards uplink, north uplink. But um, coming over here, as far as I understand, uh, these red industrial crates, if they're in a very high danger area, can spawn smart mesh. So this time around, we didn't get any. But uh, always check these. Look, oh, aluminum scrap, very good. I'm always checking these as well. Just like I said. What? Dude, that's not even scripted, you guys. That's actually not even scripted. That I'm not gonna lie, that's my first time finding smart mesh here in these uh, containers. I knew I knew it was a possibility. That's just absolutely hilarious. It was actually uh It was actually there. That's not even scripted, I swear, I swear. Because we are in training. If you look in the top left, we're in training here. And speaking of smart mesh, uh speaking of smart mesh, I actually during the, my first recording, I actually found one. I'm just going to tell you. So this container, uh, this shelf, I mean, and table can spawn smart mesh, ball bearings, hydraulics, and metallic alloys. Always check this. Everyone runs past this. I get smart mesh here all the time. And I actually did get one this raid. Since it's see, I'm going to have two. I actually got one from right over here. This shelf can spawn it as well, as well as the other things I named. And right over here by the gate B to the north uplink. And this elevator thing you can drop down or go up down the stairs i actually did get one right here um i will show the recording of it now but i actually did get one right there and if we run over here towards the uh, gate b there's like these stairs or this little elevator you can drop down down here as well we can get look just like that smart mesh baby look at that that's it's actually insane smart mesh spawns here as well as well as the uh, the other uh, labeled items that I said it's really good. No one ever checks the spot and I you can get it quite often And if you have safe pockets of uh, 10 or greater You can you can put the smart mesh straight into your safe pockets and it's really really good really reliable and uh, Yeah, just a nice little bonus, right? If you're just running past base camp, you may as well check. You know what I mean? It's really really sick. This compound is absolutely cracked. I can't believe we got smart mesh up there. That's so funny guys That's actually so funny. I swear it wasn't scripted. Okay. Anyways, the loot room up here. There's two things about this place that I need to talk about, so let's go up there. So coming up here, a lot of people like to camp this room. If you ever get in a fight here, the team will generally just sit up here and, and hold the stairs. So the best way to combat them is to have two teammates at the stairwell here, and one teammate should go down outside and do this sort of flank where they go all the way around. And there's this back door entrance here that I can show you. It's, uh, it's pretty annoying finding people up here because they usually just hold the stairs. So what I recommend is you save your nades and you wait for the, the one teammate to flank here. And when he's at this position, then the two at the stairs will throw their nades in. And you this guy can throw his nades in and then you guys can just push his three. You probably might lose one guy, but yeah, it happens. It's, uh, it's really frustrating finding people up here. But this room has a, a lot of good secrets and a lot of overlooked secrets, I think, that people don't know about. So let's talk about it. Coming up straight away, uh, you can get like any radio or electronic here. So you can get data drives, you can get circuit boards, you can get uh, radio equipment, so you can get, uh, you know, all that sort of stuff all over the shelves and the tabletops here, as you can see. And there's also like little briefcases and luggage and jackets laying around that you can also get some nice stuff out of. So make sure you always check that. And uh, yeah, this is a pretty good spot. But uh, this table here has a chance of spawning I'm fairly certain any weapon in the game. I've gotten a Maelstrom, I've gotten a Gorgon, and I've gotten, you know, like low tier, like white weapons, Manticore, Scrappers. I'm pretty sure you can get any weapon here. Like I said, uh, not 100% confirmed, but the best I've gotten was a Gorgon. So always check this table and, uh, you know, you might get lucky. And then continuing over here, um, you know, obviously these shelves have some decent stuff, like the radio equipments and the circuit boards, which you need for a lot of for tasks and uh, these servers as well. And then the luggage room, really, really good. Uh, you can also get them here, by the way. The luggage room, very, very good. I will have to go into a real match to show you, but I'll do that right now. Okay, perfect. It's not looted. So we'll check the weapon spawn. Not here. Uh, old currency here, so that's pretty good. Someone died here, though. That's okay. Okay, so inside the luggage room, you can get all sorts of good stuff. There is a weapon crate in here, which you can get weapons and obviously attachments out of. The best thing I gotten out of there was a shatter gun before, which was actually pretty nuts. And then this is where the real money is. There's four safes. There is like seven luggages in here and like 20 briefcases. So out of all of these, 
You can just stack up old currency. You can stack up old currency. And actually, look at that garage office key. That's a very good key. You can get keys out of here, old currency, circuit boards, radio equipment, data drives, you know, all all the stuff that you need, like a lot of for a lot of things. And uh, this key, luggage key, has 12 uses. And you could easily stack over 100k old currency here. Uh, just from hitting luggage room. This room actually has so much, so much, so much value in it. It is uh, actually kind of nuts. 12 uses. You get a bunch of jewelries. You get a bunch of old currency. Interactive screens. Radio cables, which you also need for uh, the drills from Korolev. There's just... This room is probably the best way to farm cables, old currency, and uh, attachments on base camp. Honestly, you can get really good stuff at uh, jungle camp as well in the army room, but this room, you know, a lot less risk. And uh, if you get the key, you get it from a task and you also get it just from finding it. So good luck. Hopefully you guys can get lucky and find them. Uh, there's a really good admin run on, on Crescent Falls where you can get keys really easily. But uh, yeah, that's the luggage room. This room is, is pretty stacked and uh, yeah, it's really, really good. Oh, by the way. Main office, dead drop is here, and uh, I feel like I should mention this. The main office dead drop for some of your tasks is up there in the base camp luggage room. And the other dead drop, I think it's called gate C, which is also for a couple tasks and jobs, is right up here behind this door. One, one more thing I want to talk about. Uh, Basically these little windows uh, you can jump out of them, but it's kind of awkward because you have to like Walk up against it jump and then get in the window and then drop down again, right? But if you know the sliding jump mechanic where you sprint press uh, Crouch and then instantly jump you get a little bit of a boost So what you can do with that is you can actually slide jump out of these windows really really well and uh, it's really really clean and you don't, you don't, it's not an awkward movement. It's very fluid. It's very fast. And the best, best window to do it out of is this one with the little white ramp. Because you don't get the fall dam, like the falling animation where your character like stumbles for a second. So you can instantly jump in, like out of this window really quickly. For example, if let's say you get tagged and you're running up the stairs and you know, you're low HP. You can like do this like nice movement where you do this and like outplay the guy. And now you're behind him and he probably doesn't expect it. And, you know, you might be able to get the drop on him, and it's really, really good. And I use this in a lot of fights. And uh, while we're on the topic of these windows, it also works on the other side, obviously. But a great thing about this other up upstairs is if people are camping there, like we said. If people are camping there, you can get some really nice uh, headshot angles with a sniper from here as well. You can see perfectly into the other side. Um, let me get the binoculars out. You can see perfectly into the other side, and if you have a scope, you just shoot these guys really easily. And honestly, it's actually good, like I was saying in the, with the flank earlier. You have one teammate at the stairs, you have one, like me, would be sniping, and then my teammate would be flanking, right? It's actually a really good spot to uh, get some free damage, and then you guys push in off like a bolty tag or something like that, right? Really, really good. Alright guys, that's going to do it for my base camp guide. Uh, make sure you guys are just always checking these these spawns for the rare rare materials like gyroscopes and uh, the smart mesh uh, Speaking of smart mesh. I'm going to be doing a smart mesh guide soon uh, For uh, more places. There's more places on uh, bright sands to get smart mesh and uh, I'll be talking about those in my video and I'll be showing where to get them on both maps as well in that video But make sure you're always checking make sure you're always uh, you know checking all the good stuff here because base camp is actually crazy good luck to everyone trying to find the luggage key hopefully you can get a couple of them because this room is absolutely stacked and uh it's super good but uh guys yeah other than that i'm gonna be doing more guide content for the cycle i'm gonna have gameplay videos for the cycle the next video for cycle is gonna be a week one two and three like combat fights like player progression over time of my gameplay uh, because I didn't play that much of the betas. I played maybe 10, 10 to 15 hours of the betas. So, you know, coming into the cycle on day one of release, I was kind of fresh, you know, I didn't really know what I was doing. And you can kind of see how I progress over time and get better as a player. But make sure you're always checking these spots, guys, okay? I hope this video helps. If it did, please leave a like. It really helps the algorithm. And if you want to further support the algorithm, drop a comment because that helps a lot as well. 
And uh, I hope you guys learned something here, and I hope this, this guide was useful, and I hope base camp is a much better compound for you now, and I hope you make a bunch of money, and I hope you have really good fights here, because uh, it's, it's actually cracked. This place is actually cracked. But uh, other than that, guys, take it easy, and uh, peace.